Hi, Grace, this is Peter me. Weiss, um, and this is my uh, pseudo random number generator uh, simulation that I built on Logism. Um, so uh, these are the three registers that I use. These are the three outputs that simulate the number. And I have the XOR gate and an XNOR gate here that are connected to a multiplexer that are controlled with this input here. So I can either be in the XOR version or the XNOR version. And this is just a visual representation of the, the number that the generator generates. Um, so uh, if I reset the simulation, um, so first I'll start with XOR. So if I set this as a synchronous set. Now these are all ones because that sets it. And if I let the clock tick, you can see the number here changes and the sequence that it changes to, if you start with seven, it's seven, three, one, four, two, five, six, and then it just keeps repeating. And notice that that's all the numbers, zero through eight, zero through seven, except zero, because if you start zero, this, it, it, that's a stable state if, if you use the XOR, so it, that nothing will actually, will end up changing. So if I clear this, no matter how many times I tick the clock, it'll 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 stay on zero and it won't change. Um, so now if I change to the XNOR and I clear it, um, it'll start at zero, but then it won't stay in zero. It will go zero, four, six, three, five, two, one, and then back to zero. So now this is every number except seven. Um, and the same thing will happen now uh, in the opposite way. If I set this, it'll go to 7, and then it won't um, change from 7 in the XNOR state uh, because it's a stable state with these registers here because you have a 1 feeding in everywhere, and it just keeps looping back around because 1 XNOR 1 is 1. And the same thing with the XOR. Um, 0, x or 0 is 0, so you just have zeros everywhere. Um, and also, you'll notice that the, the output states for the number here are actually like the inverted versions for XOR and XNOR, which makes sense because it's XOR is the inverted version of XNOR. Um, and so, yeah, so you just get these, this pseudo random, it repeats so it's not to totally random, but you get a somewhat random number sequence. Um, for each of these with the XNOR gate and the XOR gate that you can see here. Yep, so this is my um, pseudorandom number generator lab on Logism. Thank you.